Hey everybody, got my funky skulls on for the intro. For the few of you who have subscribed, please keep spreading the word. But for now, let's just jump into the news. Much love. Good morning, mushrooms, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers, sisters, mothers, misters, and to all my cousins, let's plug in. It's time to break down the news so that way you can understand what's going on in the world. I typically use CNN because, well, American journalism is just more sensational. Hmm, why do I hear myself? A nightmare come true. Last until 2022. Last. First. Last. No. Here, last is a verb. And it's just how long something can exist. While it looks like a verb, you might know the verb to measure to see how long something is, how tall something is, how much something weighs. No. Here. It is a noun, a plural noun, and measures just means official actions. Ah, such as, for example, stay at home orders and school closures. Go on, nice phrasal verb, super common, just means to continue. They may go on long term unless a vaccine is found. <gasps> ah, passive. Is found by who? Don't need to explain trolls to you. You are on the internet. Hell, you might even be one. If you are a troll, get in the messages there. Interact with me. Ask questions. Comment. It's going to be a lot more fun with some audience participation. Narrow. Wide. Wider. Oh, there goes my hand. To expose. It means to reveal. Does that help? It might not. And it just means to uncover something that was hidden. I could remove my green screen to expose the world behind me. Ah, it's a wall. They're actually windows. It's not just physical, but it also means to show the truth because often we are hiding secrets. To team up, good phrasal verb. And so Trump and she must team up to do something, to fight the virus. All right, and so often you'll see team up with, yes, it turns into a three-part phrasal verb. And so um, you could say that uh, Trump will or must team up with she to fight the virus. Women leaders are handling the pandemic brilliantly. Why aren't there more? What does it mean to handle? You want to open a door, often you need to turn the handle. Of course, it's not literal. It's figurative. And so to handle something means to manage, to control something. Maybe it's because they have higher EQ and possibly IQ. Coronavirus takes a serious turn in Russia. Now, take a turn for the better, for the worse. You're going along and all of a sudden, oh, that just got real serious. In this case, considering it's serious, probably a turn for the worse. To my people in Russia, stay strong. Who? Ah, just kidding. To WHO, the World Health Organization. Army one, army two, they go to battle. This one realizes, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Ah, they run away. To move back away from, ah, from. Obviously, it's not like an army running away from something, but he made a claim. He's like, oh, maybe, maybe it was a little bit too strong. I'm going to just retreat, move back, move away. It's like in battle, if you have a shield right here, it's to protect you from the people who are trying to hit you, trying to kill you. If the sword or something comes in, hits the shield and goes off in a different direction to deflect. He's using his shield of lies and nonsense and is deflecting to the World Health Organization. But yes, what is he deflecting? Is it a sword? Is it a ball? No, it's blame. To blame someone for, or a noun, the blame for the coronavirus crisis. The blame. It's when you say that somebody did something. You're the one who broke the window, aren't you? You ate my cookies, didn't you? And so I'm blaming them for eating, or pro-level, having eaten. Beautiful future passive. Look at that. Trump's name will be added to the stimulus checks. 
will be added by whom? I don't know. It's not like he's going to put all of his ridiculous signatures. He's not going to sign every one of those checks. Though, if he wants his name on it, I think they should make him sign all of them. Checks by a printer, probably. The entire, the whole something. Last night I ate an entire pizza. And my wife was not happy about that. She blamed me for eating the entire pizza. <laughs> standstill means something is not moving and therefore it means not moving forward it's not progressing opposite insane insane means crazy it means that they are preventing you from going Crazy. Prefix miss means badly or poorly. So they are being treated badly. It's to claim, it's to say, to accuse, to put blame on somebody. They're blaming the Chinese government, but you don't necessarily have any proof. Why all the hostility? That's what I want to know. To apologize for to ban something, just like restaurants uh, um, banned smoking, to prohibit. FBI warns companies of, now normally I would say warns companies or somebody about, but people out there, the things that they will do to get out, to get out of working. Get a fake doctor's note. It's not real. Just your friend wrote it. Your future is uncertain when you are in limbo. My name is Cameron James. You might know me from movies such as And as a famous actor, I endorse water. It helps you stay hydrated and talk more clearly. Right now, it feels like I have sand in my mouth. 99 years old. He has raised or raises $2.5 million by walking laps, walking circles, whatever keeps you sane. I guess that's more or less what I'm doing here in my apartment, just going in circles. To raise money for a charity, for the fight against the virus. And if you don't mind something, it means it doesn't bother you. And so looking into their homes, I don't mind vacuuming. Actually, I kind of find vacuuming quite enjoyable. To reject, to say no in a forceful sort of way. Um, it's like, uh, let's see, the story of high school got rejected. Revived, to bring back to life. Crushed sales. Okay, uh, car buyers, the auto market hasn't been so good, and so they're trying to bring it back to life. Their sales, toilet paper tube, have been crushed. Begging you not to use their products. Please, please don't, please. Please, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Yes, to beg. Do you have some coins? Spare any change, sir. Beg for money. Beg for, please forgive me for forgiveness. Uh, JP's Morgan and JP Morgan, JP's Morgan. Eh. JP Morgan's profit has plummeted. To plummet, to drop, to fall very dramatically like you would off a cliff. As I've said before, there's always those bits in the news about some couple taking a selfie with a cliff behind them. Like, one more step back. Yeah. Um, JP Morgan, I have no sympathy for you. You got plenty of money and you're the one, one of the ones normally causing the problem. Five, count them, one, two, three, four, five ways to get along with your new Co-worker, spouse, husband, or wife. Co, together. Worker, work, together. Co-worker, get along with, to have a good relationship with. Working from home, your co-worker is your husband or wife. And so five ways to have a good relationship with your husband or wife. All right, fair enough. When I was young, there were times where my brothers and I would fight, um, but now, I get along with my brothers quite well. We're on good terms. Some of my best buddies, to be honest. 
to revolutionize. Ooh, and look at that with a Z. American spelling. The Brits would do it with an S, but listen to it. Revolutionize. Make it phonetic. Use a Z. Use the American system. We're just trying to make it simpler. Revolutionize an industry. Ah, so there was a drama that revolutionized TV. Just like um, petroleum and the internal combustion engine revolutionized transportation because coal and steam were not very effective ways of powering things. In Obama's backing of Biden. Oh, just like yesterday, we had throw support behind. Behind is your back. That's my back. And so if you're behind, you, I'm, I'm behind that. I can get behind that. It means that I support you. And in this case, he's backing him up. He's backing Biden. Obama. Yeah. Will you back me up on that? I'd back you up. I can get behind it. What he says incorrectly. Uh, to get something wrong, to get something right. Easy peasy. Just a phrase. The second pandemic that awaits, ooh, that is waiting for us, that is in our future. It's just a fancy way of saying waiting, basically. Man, I know it's the morning, I know it's 8.43, but it'd be a lot more fun if somebody was over there commenting, ask questions, interact, or if you're watching, just let me know. It would do a lot for a guy, a lonely, lonely guy on a Wednesday morning, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. <sighs> Quarantine. All right, let me, let me go. Let me eat, let me sing, let me dance. Give me permission to dance. No, in this case, distance is the verb. Let me socially distance in peace. Don't bother me. Let me do this in peace. Ooh, Apple and Google teamed up to uh, linking 5G to coronavirus, linking to, linking to, go away, to leave. Yep, I had that the other day as well. Vocabulary, it's uh, completely unimportant, but it is a phenomenon. It's when you have short hair on top and then the long hair in back and short on the sides. And so we used to say, Business in the front, party in the back. Inspired to give somebody a feeling of goodness that they want to do more. Um, and so what inspired me to do this watching, there's a few shows on YouTube where I see people explaining history and stuff and that inspired me to get here onto Twitch and YouTube, etc., to share the beauty of the English language. It can be inspirational. Ooh. All right. What inspires you? Tell me. Let me know. What inspires you? I lost my arm. It's like we had Breaking Bad. Now you have Better Call Saul. We have a Bachelor spinoff. What could it possibly be? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, I don't like reality TV. Um, hate me if you want. I don't hate you. But it's just not my thing. If you like it, you like it. Fair enough. That is breaking down the news, the bits and pieces of the headlines to expand and improve your grammar and vocabulary, starring the front page of CNN. A tired, greasy, unshowered, unshaved Cameron. And it's time for some more coffee. I have run out. And so, um, yeah, questions, comments, concerns, always let me know, get in touch. That's that. Much love. Weekdays, 8 a.m., breaking down the news with me, a cup of coffee. Cheers. Bye. See you tomorrow. And again, thanks for watching. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Click the subscribe. Click the likes. And uh, we can keep this project rolling. More videos streamlining the process. Going to be it faster and better.